Hello again everybody, today in this video we'll be doing the overview of this Open Beta 12 which was launched uh, yesterday that is the 4th of August and today in this video we'll be doing the uh, overview that's the uh, new additions, optimizations and bug fixes which OnePlus has introduced to this Open Beta 12 and before starting let me uh, first tell you that after the installation was complete uh, I noticed that the device was getting a bit warmer and also a new uh, application rather was installed from the play store that is known as instant apps and i don't know oneplus has automatically installed that after installing the open beta 12 so i don't know what's that i guess it's for the uh, it included the new features which uh, oneplus has introduced with this open beta 12 so that uh, was something which i wanted to notify you all so let's start with the features so the first new addition is the parallel apps so the apps in the settings has been completely changed as you can see that we have we get five options over here and uh, the fourth one is the parallel apps and uh, some of the applications are supported for example facebook twitter and whatsapp instagram are supported by default and some of the other applications popular ones are also inst uh, available for uh, cloning so for example let me choose uh, whatsapp so parallel whatsapp has been created will be shown and then in the uh, app drawer as you can see that you get two whatsapp the one with the orange one is the parallel one so the uh, there will be an icon on the parallel one so let me show you so this is the parallel the new one and uh, this one is the regular one which i use and uh, as you can see here in the recent apps you can also see that uh, parallel whatsapp has been uh, written over there so that's the first new addition and second uh, is the launcher version 2.1.5 so let me show you in the settings here we get the new launcher the launcher version is 2.1.5 and the first uh, updation is that uh, the home screen uh, folder icon as you can see has been completely changed to square shaped so it's uh, looking a bit different and weird as of now so that's the first new thing and the second one is that now you can uh, hover in between the folders just by uh, clicking any folder and then swiping left or right so that's another new thing and uh, another new thing is the uh, double finger slide support so now you can tap with one finger and then you can swipe, uh, swipe with another finger to place your application for example let me show you so this is how it supports the uh, two finger slight support now talking about uh, the apps yeah the icons one more thing is that the first four icons will be shown here in the uh, as the display of the uh, folder if you have more than four applications then it won't be show it won't show all the applications just the top four one the first four one so that's about the uh, folders the new launcher now let's come to the gallery so also one more thing that the clock and the galleries icon has also been changed so that's also a new thing and talking about the gallery the gallery is updated to version 1.8 and now it supports light theme so by default when you were in the dark theme or default or light the gallery used to had a white a black theme and also the lock screen if you uh, lock it with your fingerprint you can see that it has been changed from uh, light blue to dark blue the background color so now as you can see that it's black since I'm in the black theme you can change it to white theme and then the uh, gallery theme will also be changed to white so that's the another new thing for example let me change it to default and as you can see that the gallery theme has also been changed to white okay one more uh, addition they have included is the supporting of raw format images and so when you open the camera application by default the save raw image would be uh, deselected so you have to select it and then if you uh, click any image for example let me click and then if you go to gallery then you will see that this is the original image which I shot just now and this is the raw one so as you can see the difference in between these two and uh, I won't prefer you to uh, enable that uh, raw image one just because it consumes a lot of size for example here as you can see the default image is the 5.8 MB and the raw image is around, uh, around 31.07 MB so yeah it consumes a lot of space so if you want you can uh, select it for selected images but 
uh, it is not recommended to always allow the uh, raw image one so now talking about the new uh, file manager it's updated to version 1.7.1 1 .1 and uh, the new thing is that uh, previously with the previous all versions uh, whenever you uh, long press any file uh, we didn't used to get any edit options but now uh, we get the edit options let me show you so let me choose any file and then if you long press you will get all these edit options so it's the another new additions which they have updated so that's a good thing so these were about the new additions now let's talk about the optimization so the new optimization OnePlus have introduced to their OnePlus 3T's Open Beta 12 is the merged call history from the same number. So it's good to identify the call history from a particular number just because previously it was all scattered and it was difficult to uh, differentiate between them. So now it's quite useful that uh, all the call history have been merged. So that's a good thing. And the bug fixes is that they have fixed the battery consumption after connecting to a Bluetooth device. So I don't usually connect any Bluetooth device to my device. So I have to check it out and will be coming in the review of the Open Beta 12. And talking about the Open Beta 11's review, I haven't made that video just because there was nothing to uh, say about it. All the uh, optimizations or rather the performance was similar with, uh, to the Open Beta 10. So the battery life along with the performance was all same. There was nothing different in the performance. So I haven't made any video. So that's it for now in this video. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you click the like button. Do subscribe to my channel if you want such uh, more such videos. And I hope to see you in my next video.